Hello. That's not a good intro. We're gonna have to do that again. Okay. Hey team, and welcome to this video. I have been absent off YouTube for a while, and I think I owe you guys an explanation. About three months ago, I moved house, and it has taken so long to settle in. So now that I've got that all organized, I would love to share with you my new space. I didn't buy this place. I'm broke. I'm a millennial. I'm renting. Just FYI, in case you were wondering if that's one of those. I bought a house. A lot of YouTubers do that. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's not going to happen for at least 100 years. I thought it would be a really cool idea if I could give you an apartment tour and see my new setup, including how I'm streaming in my new space and just some things around the house. Also, I dyed my hair and I've been hoarding house plants, so I'm like transitioning from Harley Quinn to Poison Ivy and I love that for me, it's very exciting. The perks about living like somewhat close to the city is that there's like a lot of building renovations going on next door and it's really loud. So what I'm going to do is pass you over to voiceover Laura. Thanks so much video Laura, I really appreciate it and I'm pleased to be here. Thanks voiceover Laura. We first start the tour with the very boring view from our apartment balcony. Sometimes you can see the sunset on the left over there, but really that's about it. I have claimed the top of our air conditioning unit for hoarding plants. So this is my donkey tail succulent. He's going to grow really, really long. He's in a hanging pot, but unfortunately I don't have anywhere to hang him just yet. He loves high light, so that's why he's outside. Next up is my little Bulbasaur. The pot was gifted to me by my friend Sam and the succulent was gifted to me by my friend Ash and the succulent was kind of dying so I'm surprised he's bounced back. This is a Syngonium that my mum let me dig up from her back garden. She has so much of it and it's one of my favorite houseplants so that worked out well. This is what our apartment looks like looking in from our balcony. We get loads of natural light which is awesome for my houseplants and yeah the kitchen and living room are in one big space. So let's start with my bookshelf. This is my bookshelf which has an array of things that aren't just books including houseplants and photos and then we have our TV. I've got my Nintendo Switch hiding behind it and then on the opposite side over there is my roommate Bree's bookshelf. So we have matching bookshelves that we put our own things in. I hate saying that I have favorites but this is definitely one of my favorite plants. This is a heart-shaped philodendron and she grows so long, so long that I actually had to cut her back recently and try to propagate the cutting that I took. And then I have my neon green pothos. I nearly killed this guy, so it's great that he's bouncing back. There's so many fresh leaves. He is actually that color of neon green, which is totally, totally awesome and very bright. Up the top, I have my Harley Quinn prop gun. I want to make it very clear that this is not a real gun, uh, just for display purposes only, which remind me of my time cosplaying Harley. A lot of my geeky memorabilia and pops and statues and stuff are in storage just because we don't have enough space for them at the moment. So one day I'll hope to get them out. And then I have just random candles. I had no idea where to put them, so I just kind of chucked them there for the moment. This is a Marble Queen Pothos. I got this cutting from my local cafe and recently put him in soil and he's doing really well with new leaves so I'm stoked about that. This shelf is where I keep all my really nice smelling candles if I'm not using them and also a really cute photo of my dad and I at my graduation last year. I got him the exact same photo and frame for Father's Day and he has the same photo which is really cute so yeah. Now for actual books, on the left I have all of my cookbooks and then on the right I have a combination of music teaching resources, Twilight and just random comics and things. Moving on, we have my Goldilocks plant who has been quite temperamental. I am trying my best to keep her alive but she's making it a little difficult for me. And just in the back, my Nintendo Switch that we plug into the TV, we play Pokemon together and it's nice. On our coffee table, I have another Syngonium, which was gifted to me from my friend Mel for my housewarming, and he's thriving. So many new leaves, he just won't slow down. In the corner next to our couch, we have a display of my failed attempts to do stretching and yoga. Uh, don't really take that seriously. And then I have my beloved Monstera, who is thriving. We have two new leaves just this week, and I'm so proud, so very proud of him. Just huge proud plant mum moment right now. Next to him is a little baby Audrey who is a type of ficus. I only just got her last week so she's doing well too. 
Above the couch, I have some nano leaf panels, which absolutely lifts the space. It's so cool, instead of having like a painting, to just have mood lighting that we can change all the time just from our phones. Here is a really brief demonstration from the nano leaf app on my phone. I can go through and change the lights to whatever I kind of feel like on the day. It really glows at nighttime and it's such a conversation point when we have people over for dinner or whatever the hell, like Scrabble or something. I don't play Scrabble, but I was just trying to think of an activity. On the opposite side of the couch is my snake plant. He's a really tall boy. I actually had to get my dad to drive him over in his van because he didn't fit in my car. So he's really sturdy and growing really well. He's very low maintenance, which is awesome. On our dining room table is yet another Syngonium. This is the third and final Syngonium I have. This particular type of Syngonium is called Pink Passion, obviously because it's a little pink and so, so pretty. One of my newest plants is this silver sword philodendron. Eventually he will start climbing and reach the floor like the other philodendron. And this is a maiden hair fern. This is one of my dad's favorite plants and basically impossible to keep alive. So I put it in a self-watering pot to help with drainage. Where am I going? Let's go to the kitchen, I guess. I'm just showing you my kitchen. And these are two stools that my dad recently got me. Thanks, dad. Well, actually they were in the garage. So reduce, reuse, recycle. This is my housemate Bree's first ever plant. I have corrupted her and it is a little parlor palm that I put in a pot for her because she likes light pink. This is the last plant of the tour, I swear, and it is a bird's nest fern. I put it in the kitchen because it's furthest away from the direct light and they do well in low light and moist soil. Come with me because I am going to show you the sink, the fridge. On the left hand side is my side of the fridge and the right side is Bree's Polaroids. I have a lot of Polaroids with my bestie Tash because she is the Polaroid camera owner at various events, my birthday, Halloween, housewarming, environmental protest rally, Christmas day, and then a photo of Brie and I at her housewarming. Yay! In the hallway, that's my roommate Bree's bedroom door. Then we have the laundry cupboard. On the furthest left up the top is my bathroom, which you don't need to see. Then the front door. And then my Harley Quinn mallet, which I've left there for security reasons and purposes. You know, self-defense, stuff like that. And just storage on the far right side. Outside of my bedroom door is my streaming setup, which I'm very excited to share with you because it took so long to get organized. Starting from the left is my printer that my dad bought me for a housewarming gift, which was super nice and very thoughtful because you don't know when you need to print things like music and stuff. Then I have a cabinet of drawers that I use for storage, cosplay cords and other electronics. I have my PC tower set up on the floor and then I have my microphone and boom stand, which is super convenient for streaming. My UPS is in the far left corner and then I have my headset and headset stand, which is so colorful and cute. At the very top is my key light to help light my streams and my face. I bounce that off the plain white wall because it's not as harsh as pointing it directly to my face. I then have two monitors set up on monitor arms and just above the first monitor is where I have my camera but I'm using it to film this so you can't actually see my DSLR. I then have my keyboard, my mouse pad, my mouse and then a sneaky boy, my PlayStation 4 in the corner there. I also keep my trumpet right next to me for easy access because not only do I use this space for streaming, but I also use it for tutoring trumpet online. I have my Batman office chair as well, which you guys know from a previous video, along with some more nano leaf light panels on the wall behind me, just for a bit of flavor on stream. Before we move on team, I just want to introduce to you the latest addition to my streaming setup, which is the APC UPS. UPS is short for Uninterruptible Power Supply and it serves a main purpose which is backup gaming power with additional surge protection. So the UPS instantly sends power to my PlayStation and PC and other electronics if my home loses power, which I thought was super important for a streamer and it also just defends against unsafe levels of electricity which could definitely damage some really expensive gaming equipment. 
This was the final addition to my streaming setup just to make sure everything is perfect because it will protect my gaming setup from damages and unexpected disconnect when I am streaming. For your reference, I've also included footage of the back of the product so you can see all the sockets. I have left a promo code in the video description below along with a link to the UPS and I'd highly recommend getting one if you are into gaming as much as I am. Next up and the final thing is my bedroom. And if I'm being honest, I actually don't spend that much time in here except for sleeping. The big highlight of my bedroom, however, is my impulse decision to buy a fake plant wall, which is stuck up with 30 sticky hooks. And I also love my velvet bedspreads. I have a green one and a blue one and I just cycle them both because I think they're so comfy and gorgeous. Another cool thing about my bedroom is my RGB globe that I put in my Ikea lamp, which is just a grown up Pixar lamp, I think. And at nighttime, the lights are super vivid. It's a little hard to see because it was daylight when I filmed this. I love the ability to change the space with lighting. It just is so easy and very versatile. All right, team, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my new place. And if you want to see a more detailed video of my streaming setup, drop a comment so I know if you want to see that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And kiss it.